Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I just got back from my Saturday morning ride. Pacific Northwest here, we got uh, hit with a bunch of rain, finally, which is normal. Uh, I rode my giant rain because it's got a rear fender on it. Uh, got plenty wet, uh, you know, but uh, again, it, like the other bikes, uh, everything's working awesome on. Uh, the ISX, IXF crank sets, you know, I can't say enough about how great those things are for the money. Um, I rode the Schwinn uh, Lumacomp last night. Uh, that bike, you know, it's phenomenal. Um, like I say, I got a little more in it than what a budget build would be, but, uh, you know, over time a person can do this easily and end up with a super nice bike. It's been a lot of fun. You know, the, the Giant Rain got an IXF uh, crank set on it, got uh, 40, 11 to 42 tooth uh, Sunrace rear cassette, um, 32 tooth uh, oval, uh, narrow wide uh, front uh, cog on it. Um, along with, I've got uh, zoom brakes, which have been working flawlessly on the thing. Um, been running uh, the Continental Trail King tires in the 235 six or 26 this is still a 26er bike and uh, the tires have been great whole works uh, i got a cell i tell you seat uh, that's awesome i'm gonna move my water bottle on this bike i'm gonna put the same dropper post uh, that i have on the uh, alumacomp on that bike because you know i got two bikes with dropper posts and then this one without and it's amazing how uh, you're constantly reaching over to drop that seat and there's nothing to do uh, to make it drop so i'm gonna do that and you know, the uh, the Alumacomp, or not Alumacomp, but the Axis, you know, it's been a great bike ever since I've had it done. Uh, this thing just, uh, I can't say enough about the Advent Shifter and, and Derailleur. Uh, it's got a, um, I believe it's 11 to 46 tooth um, rear cassette, and I believe it's a Sun Race also. Uh, it's been a great bike. Dropper post is finally working good. I lubed it up and stuff, and it's going up and down like it ought to. And uh, other than uh, the grips, I think are a little hard to argon grips. Uh, you know, the seating on this thing kicks you a little bit forward, and I'm gonna have to go with something maybe a little softer at some point. You know, riding my uh, Giant with the uh, uh, comfort style grips on it today. You know, my hands don't get numb at all nothing and um, they do on the uh, Axon, Axon bike. Uh, you know again I am 61 years old so <laughs> it might just be an age thing. The uh, Ori grips on the uh, Alumacomp, uh, they're a little small diameter for me. They're soft but they're a little small uh, but they feel pretty good when I'm riding it also. Uh, I do have to move the uh, dropper post level. I need to rotate it around. Uh, you got to almost take your hand off the grip to reach where I have that thing positioned at. It needs to be down. Uh, but uh, all, all in all, they're all looking good. You know, I'm on the waiting list for one of the new uh, Mongoose, what is it, I think it's X1 or X2 or whatever it is, full suspension. Uh, I've been wanting to build uh, a crazy budget, budget bike. Uh, I was gonna do it on the Axum, but uh, I think I want a full suspension bike to do it with, so I'm gonna do it with the Mongoose. Uh, when they get some more in, uh, I want to do, you know, top-notch suspension, you know, high dollar, you know, go with a Fox or, a, um, you know, one of the other high dollar forks on it. Uh, I want to make it into a mullet. I want to do a 29 and a 27.5 on it. Uh, and Kev Central posted on his uh, YouTube channel the other day that the frame measurements are the same on the 27.5 and the 20 or 29. So whichever one I get. Uh, I'll convert it into a mullet. Uh, I want to do, uh, you know, through axle on the front and uh, all of that. So anyway, so stay tuned, you know. Been riding the crap out of all these. Uh, you know, I'm one of them guys that goes out just about every day. And I, you know, I love my damn bikes. So I uh, hope you guys are getting out there and doing it too. Uh, we'll see you later and take care.